Now after recording the script for the first time, learning about the syntax, record and run settings and also seeing the object hierarchy, now it is the time where we can run the test. Okay. So to execute or to run a test, there are different ways, different methods. So let's see the first method. If you see there's a button given on the toolbar, that's a play button okay, or a run button you can call it. So if you click on that, it will automatically start executing. Second thing is there's one more method. If you just go to this run menu bar and there's a run button given here, that's a run option you can select. And the third method is the shortcut key that's given as F5. So if you press F5 from a keyboard, it will automatically start execu execution. So now what I'll do is I'll just click on this run button. Okay, it gives me a dialog box. It says the name of the test is login, which you want to execute. Okay, so from here, if you want, you can select some other test. Right now I have only one test, so I'll select that. The location of the result will be given at this place. Okay, login and rest four. That will be the location where it will be placed. Now I'll just click on this run button. Now observe what will happen is once you click on this run button, this place it will say as running. The application will start. And if you see the yellow color highlighted thing will execute. It is so fast that it is difficult to show you this place. Once again, I'll just show you here. So when I start the execution part here, if you observe, there will be showing us status as running. The application will open automatically. Why it will open automatically? Because when I started recording, I have told him record and run settings, record and run settings. When you run, that should be the setting part. When the recording starts, if you observe, this entire line will be highlighted in yellow color. So that means that particular line has been executed. After the execution finishes, I'll get a result window here. So please observe once again. So I'll just click on this run button and now I'll click on this run. So that is a result five. Now there will be result five. I'll click on run. You can see here the application opened and this is the yellow color which is getting, you know, executed and the last window is closed. And if you observe that is nothing but running option. Finally, when it is done, it will be coming to this place as result five, login result five. Why result five? Because I've executed four times prior to this and I'll get this kind of window here. Let us see what this window says. Execution time is this date and this time. The duration is this much, the 0.07 seconds. Okay, 07 seconds. And the name of the tool is HP Unified Functional Testing on which I'm working. If you want to learn about more details, you can just click on this show more. What this show more says is the configuration on which your laptop is working right now. It says the operating system is 8.1, the CPU is this much, the core number and so on. So details about the entire platform will be given. So you can use that platform details. I'll just click on this show less and it will get hidden here. After that, after the system details, if you see there's a test flow given and the test iteration one. Iteration is nothing but executing one test case or one test scripts again and again. So if I have five iterations for different data, it will say as test iteration row one, row two, row three, and so on. Five row it will give, give it. Next is, if you see it says action one, there can be multiple actions. In that action one, I have this agent name, I have the password, I have OK button and HP flight sample application. It says as tick mark as right in the green color, that means it has passed. If it failed, it would have given me in the cross uh, symbol and it would be red color. Now, if I click on this action one, it says action one, the action one details, these are the result details. It says the execution time was this one, the duration of the exact entire action was four seconds. Okay. So let me see again. If I click on this agent name, it says agent name dot set. That was a step which was given there. The description is given as John. Okay. That means the data is given as John. And again, the execution time was this much. And if I scroll down, it says WPF edit. That's nothing but the object name. That is nothing but agent name. So if you keep on clicking at every step, you'll get the details. Imagine if you're using a test case, there's one column as actual result. Okay, actual result column. So where is this? This is the actual result column where when you execute, you get the data here. So you don't have to manually write anything. Okay, so if I click on this password set secure, I've got the details again. If I click on this OK button, it says the details about OK button. And finally, if I click on this test iteration row one, the entire iteration details it will give you. It says that is row one because I have not given multiple data. It says only row one. So execution time is given, the duration is given and the details are given here itself, right? And also along with that, you will get this active screen snapshot, which is given here. Also in detail, if you see, if there is something wrong, it will give me some error list also. Right now, if you see here, 
the error list are given as nothing. Suppose while execution I get multiple errors, the list of all the errors will be mentioned at this place itself. So right now only test flow is given and the entire details about it is given. So I hope you are able to understand how do you execute a test for the first time and what does this window says all about. That's all for this video.